In this video, we're learning how to divide mixed numbers, and if we look at the top of our screen, it says to divide mixed numbers, convert each mixed number into an improper fraction, then divide using keep, change, flip. So we're basically just going to change each of our mixed numbers into an improper fraction, and then divide the results like we normally would divide fractions using keep, change, flip. So if we look at example one, we have two and three fourths divided by one and a half. So we're going to start by changing both mixed numbers into improper fractions. So if we want to change two and three fourths into an improper fraction, we want to multiply the denominator by the whole number. So four times two is eight, and then add that to the numerator. So eight plus three is 11. So 11 is our new numerator, and we keep our denominator as a four. So we have 11 fourths. And now we want to change one and a half into an improper fraction. So we're going to do the same thing. Multiply the denominator by the whole number. Two times one is two. Add the numerator. Two plus one is three. That becomes our new numerator. Keep the denominator as it is. So now we have 11 fourths divided by three halves. And now we're going to keep change flip. So remember, keep change flip means keep the first fraction as it is. So we keep 11 fourths, change division to multiplication, flip the second fraction, so 3 halves becomes 2 thirds. And now we're going to multiply straight across, but first we want to check if we can simplify either fractions or cross reduce. So we can't simplify either fraction, but we can cross reduce 2 and 4. So we can divide them both by 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1, and now we're going to multiply straight across. So 11 times 1 is 11 on the top, 2 times 3 is 6 on the bottom, so we get 11 sixths, and I'm going to write this as a mixed number as well. So 6 goes into 11 one time, and we have 5 left over, so that's our numerator. Keep the denominator the same, so we get 11 sixths, or 1 and 5 sixths. So let's take a look at example 2, which is 4 and 3 eighths divided by 6 and 3 tenths. So again, we want to start by changing each mixed number into an improper fraction. So for 4 and 3 eighths, we're going to multiply the 8 and the 4, which is 32. Add that to our numerator of 3. So 32 plus 3 is 35. That's our new numerator. Keep the denominator as it is. So we get 35 eighths. And now we're going to do the same thing for 6 and 3 tenths. So 10 times 6 is 60 plus 3 is 63, so that's our numerator. Our denominator is still going to be 10. So now we have 35 eighths divided by 63 tenths, and now we want to keep change flip. So we're going to keep 35 eighths as it is, change division to multiplication, and flip 63 tenths to become 10 63rds. And now we can't simplify either fraction, but we can cross reduce. So we can cross reduce 35 and 63 by dividing them both by 7. 35 divided by 7 is 5. 63 divided by 7 is 9. And we can cross reduce 8 and 10 by dividing them both by 2. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. And 10 divided by 2 is 5. And now we're just going to multiply straight across. So 5 times 5 gives us 25 on top. And 4 times 9 gives us 36 on the bottom. And because we fully simplified our fractions and cross-reduced, we don't have to simplify at the end. So we get 25 36 Let's take a look at two more examples. So for these last two examples, I encourage you guys to pause the video and try them on your own. And then you can watch me work through the problems to make sure that you did them correctly. So example three is eight and one third divided by five and five sixths. So we're gonna start by changing our mixed numbers into improper fractions. So for eight and a third, we're gonna multiply the denominator by the whole number. So three times eight is 24. We're gonna add that to our numerator. 24 plus one is 25. And that becomes our new numerator. And our denominator stays as it is. So we get 25 thirds. And now for five and five sixths, we're going to multiply 6 by 5, which is 30. Add that to our numerator of 5. So 30 plus 5 is 35. And keep our denominator as a 6. 
So now we have 25 over 3 divided by 35 over 6. And we're going to keep change flip. So we're going to keep 25 over 3 as it is. Change division to multiplication. Flip 35 over 6 to become 6 over 35. And now we want to see if we can cross reduce or simplify. So we can't simplify our fractions, but we can cross reduce. So let's cross reduce 25 and 35 by dividing them both by 5. 25 divided by 5 is 5. 35 divided by 5 is 7. And we can also cross reduce 3 and 6 by dividing them both by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. And 6 divided by 3 is 2. And now we're just going to multiply straight across. So 5 times 2 is going to give us 10 on the top. 1 times 7 gives us 7 on the bottom. So we get 10 over 7, and I'm just going to write this as a mixed number. So 7 goes into 10 one time, and we have 3 left over. Keep our denominator of 7. So we get 10 sevenths, or 1 and 3 sevenths, as our answer. So our final example is 4 and 2 sevenths divided by 6 and 3 fourths. So again, we want to start by changing the mixed numbers into improper fractions. So we're going to multiply 7 and 4, which is 28. Add the 28 to our numerator of 2, so we're going to get 30. Put that over our denominator of 7. And for 6 and 3 fourths, we're going to multiply 4 by 6, which is 24. Add 24 to 3 to get 27 as our new numerator. Keep our denominator as a 4. And now we're going to keep change flip. So we're going to keep 30 over 7. Change division to multiplication. And flip 27 over 4 to become 4 over 27. And now we can cross reduce 30 and 27 by dividing them both by 3. So 30 divided by 3 is 10. 27 divided by 3 is 9. And now we're just going to multiply straight across. So 10 times 4 gives us 40 as our numerator, and 7 times 9 gives us 63 as our denominator. And we can't simplify that, so we get 40 over 63 as our answer. So hopefully this video helped you guys learn how to divide mixed numbers. Just remember that when you're dividing mixed numbers, you need to make them into improper fractions first, and then you're just going to keep change flip.